I think it definitely didn't set in for a couple of days until kind of like I saw everyone else posting on Instagram about it. I was like, I'm going to all those guys. When most of us turn 16, our goal is to get our driver's license and no big deal, but some of us got it on the first try. But for Brooke, that wasn't her goal. She was hoping to qualify for the upcoming Olympics. And not only did she get her license within the last year, she just booked her ticket to Beijing. I think growing up at one point, when we all watch the Olympics, we like think we're going to be Olympian. We imagine ourselves on the podium. Did you ever do that? And when did you actually realize like, hey, this isn't just a dream. I can't be an Olympian. Yeah, I think it was probably when I was 13 years old. Um, our Canadian national halfpipe team was training in Calgary and I was watching them and kind of getting in there with a couple runs with them. And, and I was like, hey, maybe this could be me in four years. Well, Sean White will make Olympic snowboarding history as the oldest U.S. halfpipe rider ever, Brooke will be one of the youngest athletes at the Games. The 16-year-old is on her way to take part in her first Olympics, representing Canada for the first time in snowboarding halfpipe. Yeah, I think I'm just going to be spending every moment I can in preparation for the Games in the gym and on snow the next couple of days for sure. Brooke first tried snowboarding when she was just five years old. And then it was only a couple of days after her 13th birthday where she finished second in half pipe and fourth in slope style at the 2018 Canadian Junior Championships. But she admits training for the biggest winter games in the world has been an adventure. Yeah, I think it's definitely been like nothing I've ever experienced before, like the hundreds of COVID tests and the getting Swiss visas and all this crazy stuff. But I've had a great support system helping me, so it hasn't been too difficult. When not in school or training to be a lifeguard, her star continues to rise in the snowboarding community. Um, I've definitely had like little girls come up to me before and that means a lot and that, and honestly, yeah, it's so cool when people come up to you. And I try to just be my best self around them because I know how much it would mean to me when I went up to other pros. On Thursday, the Olympic Village officially opened for athletes across the world to start to arrive. The opening ceremonies are on February 4th. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.